Good morning, Blackman. Please stand for your Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Your morning blaze will begin after this moment of silence. Today is Wednesday, December 13th, 2017. I'm Brian, and this is your morning Blaze. Blaze Buddies is having a holiday movie night in the SLR right after school on Wednesday, December 15th. It will go until 5.15. All overdue book fines collected through today will be donated to the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. The FCA Christmas party will be on Thursday at 6 o'clock at Delaney King's house. See an FCA member for more information. And now to Savion with the weather. Earlier today, I got a chance to meet the. I'm here with Dan Thomas, the weatherman from News 4. Uh, Dan, what made you get into meteorology? I've always known since I was six years old that I wanted to be a meteorologist. I, I grew up just outside of Boston, Massachusetts. They get huge snowstorms in the wintertime. They get some hurricanes once in a while in the summer, big thunderstorms around June. So I saw some awesome different types of weather, just became a weather nut. I would see the weather person on TV and just get more interested in it. And so I have a cassette tape at home, 1978. I recorded myself, I was six. I said, this, it's Danny Thomas, it's rainy, it's snowy, it's windy, that's all the news I got. So six years old I knew. So just God put it in me. So when, when you're up there uh, in, in Nashville, what do, you, what do you do to prepare as a the meteorologist? Sure. Um, my number one job as a meteorologist is to let people know what the weather's going to be. So I make my forecast, and bottom line, that takes probably the first 45 minutes of my day. After that, it's like art class. I can be as creative as I can to tell the story that I have. I have three main points, just like you know, you students giving a speech in class, three main points, and I just build graphics, visual aids to support those and show people through the morning and when I fill in in the evening as well. Yeah, for all you weather people out there, watch this guy, pretty good. <laughs> all right, so for all our viewers who don't know what barometric pressure is, because we have that on our weather, sure. could you explain that? Yeah, barometric pressure essentially is a way to measure um, the amount of the force that the air um, uh, puts on the earth at a given point. So uh, the higher you are in the atmosphere, the less air that's above you pushing down, so the lower the barometric pressure. But when you're down close to the ground, gravity's holding all that air down, barometric pressure is higher. And so it's just, uh, just essentially the weight of the air. So, um, you know, we can't feel barometric pressure with our bodies because our bodies are pushing out with the exact same force. You know, so that, that's essentially it in a nutshell. All right, that was Dan Thomas from News 4, and uh, thank you. You are. It's been like 19, <laughs> partly cloudy outside with six mile per hour, six, my bad, mile per hour winds and 67% humidity with 30.04 barometric pressure and rising. The forecast for this week, uh, today it's uh, nice and sunny, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it'll be partly cloudy, and on Sunday, there should be a 90% chance of rain coming down with highs in the 40s and 50s and lows in the 20s and 30s. After school, it's going to be nice and sunny, but it's going to be a little chilly. We'll be back to the announcements after this commercial.
back. Uh, don't forget that tomorrow we're going to have wings and fries in the bistro. Also, they're going to have chili cheese fries and tea and lemonade. Mm -hmm. And now to Santa with some special announcements. <laughs> All right. Happy birthday to Mia Izzam. Tatiana Milando. And J Javrion. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday right. to Jabriana Bryant. And, and now to Bryce with the sports. Uh, the Blaze basketball team will play Friday girl against Smyrna. Girls will play at 6 and boys will play at 7.30. The Predators will take on the Canucks tonight at 9 p.m. In college basketball, North Carolina will take on uh, Tennessee at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Kentucky will play Virginia Tech Saturday at 1 p.m. And then the Titans will play the 49ers on Sunday at 325 in San Francisco. Uh, back to the announcements. All right. All right. Please follow us on our YouTube channel at BSPN32. Have a great, great day. day. We, we are, are Blackman. Black